All right. I was just up at the shop. It's 12.15 in the day. This nice father and his 18-year-old son wanted to um, come by the shop and talk about this kid's next move in life. So we did a lot of talk, and I said, listen, the best thing you can do is send your 18-year-old son to UNOH University. That way he can get his education and be a racer. So anyway, just thought I would share that with you. So I texted uh, the president, Doc Jarvis, at UNOH, and Donnie, their recruiter. So now they got each other's phone number. The dad's like, how should we go about this? I said, well... You want him to receive an education and race at the same time? You know, you got to get out of your comfort zone. Got to say goodbye to mommy and daddy. Make new friends up there, uh, you know, in Lima, Ohio. And, of course, Brody was there. And Brody, my son-in-law, he went to UNOH. So, hell, Donnie, the recruiter at UNOH, we did a better job than you could have ever done. <laughs> it's a joke. I had, I had Brody selling him and, of course, yeah, so if, if you're like, man, I want my kid to be educated and race, you can do all that. So, uh, all right. Um, this just popped up on my radar. Uh, April 5th at Bristol Motor Speedway is what they call the last lap. S uh, street stocks, compact uh, racers from all over America. This is the last time that Bristol's gonna do this. So you know you know how the fans are like, I hate NASCAR, uh, and, and even the locals, they hate NASCAR. Like I said, it's all a lie. I'm finally calling all of you out. What it is, it's just that you wanna do it so bad, you're mad at them, so you, I hate NASCAR. No, you don't, you don't hate them, you love it. You're just upset you can't do it. So the last lap, April 5th, Bristol Motor Speedway is allowing all the locals. Now, listen, it's, it's already sold out, so you can't do it. But I'm making the point that Bristol is allowing uh, the modifieds, asphalt modifieds, street stocks, you know, like three divisions. So th this is an opportunity for you to fulfill your dream. Remember we talked about I gave my... Uh, invite. I, I got invited like five years ago to run the dirt track at Bristol, but I gave mine, remember I gave mine to Kyle Steffens because I've already run Bristol. It's sold out. It, it, you know, it's just like 60, 70, you know, they, they capped it. They made it to where there wouldn't be 300 in each division. My point is this. All these local race car drivers love NASCAR. And any of them that got any energy, the ones that want to like Dick Trickle said, you got to want to. If you got to want to, they're doing it. They're sold out. They're capped out. So all the locals in those series are going to Bristol to fulfill their dream. So I'm digging you a little bit. Yes, I'm, I'm being a little bit of a shit disturber. Because, you know, the, the video about, you know, people from the 90s that are brokenhearted, that, that is by far one of the biggest records in racing social media. Five days later, four days later, it's still the topic because I hit a nerve. Like Ann Schrader said, I have one bad nerve left and you just, you just stepped on it because we nailed it. We nailed it. You love NASCAR. You're bitter for all these reasons. Uh, but on the racing end, all the locals, I hate NASCAR. No, you don't. That's why they're sold out. All the locals are going to Bristol April 5th, and they're finally going to fulfill their dream. So that's awesome. And Bristol's been doing this. So I would give an attaboy to NASCAR and Bristol, allowing the locals to bring their, their cars onto this super speedway and go, oh, my God, I'm running on the same track that Dale Jr. and Dale Sr. and Richard Petty and Rusty Wallace and Daryl Waltrip. They're getting, and they're racing. They're racing. So, all right. PMA, positive mental attitude. If I don't tell you all the good NASCAR is doing, you'll just keep the negative shit up. And that's over. Cut it off. Four million views on TV every week. 10% fan increase. Moving forward, baby.